The series of Carlisle themed paintings had been underway for several years. For a new idea, it was suggested I paint Warwick Road on Saturday, as many characters would be heading for the football at Brunton Park. I was thinking of the churches and tree-lined street as a backdrop until I reached the ground and realised that Carlisle United had to be the subject. Allow me to share with you how these paintings came to be. After on-site visits for observation, collected material is put together in the full-size study in charcoal. In some ways this is the most creative part, composing and arranging the elements, the lighting and characters. The painting is largely worked in the studio from the charcoal study. The drawing is transferred to the canvas. Here, the main outlines. Thin transparent washes are applied across the entire image. The ink lines show through. Some of the colour remains visible in the finished work. The thicker oil paint is developed over the underpainting. I try to work confidently at speed to give vitality to the paint and movement to the figures. Claire's Bakery had suffered in the floods of 2015 and they were using the exterior kiosks to continue a busy trade on match day. The premises are now further along the road so the painting becomes a social document. When I took the painting to work on it on location, there was a positive response from those who came over to watch. The art appreciation expressed by the Carlisle support was unusually verbose and colourful. The success of the Warwick Road painting prompted people to tell me they would like to see something inside the ground. The preparatory visits entailed being captive in my seat, unable to sketch until half time. I spent much of the game not watching the match, but observing the people. I studied the old canopy above and was fascinated by the historic wooden seating, beautifully polished by use over a century or more. I think artists should notice the mundane details so often disregarded. I hope the painting gives the feeling of being able to turn your head and look around. In the year between the paintings, I developed a quick technique for transferring the complex study onto the canvas. This used to be done by use of a grid to enlarge a sketch, or commonly tracing the drawing to canvas using graphite paper, a bit like carbon paper. The drawing is reverse printed onto a plastic coated paper. The ink remains unfixed. The drawing can then be burnished onto the canvas in a few seconds. Then the painting is immediately underway. I selected Sunderland as the away team as this would be a well attended match but mainly because the red strip is clearly visible, punchy colour to draw the eye and offset against the blues. <laughs> <laughs>